Raymond Tuesday. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Firstly, can I thank the Secretary of State for the statement and Sir Simon Wesley for the fantastic work he and the team have done on the review. And personally, a big thank you to Sir Simon Wesley, who helped me with two previous private members' bills on improving mental health care. Can I ask the Secretary of State this specific question? Will there be proposals um, to have a review timeline in these uh, measures? Say, for example, two years. As we often know in Parliament, sometimes when we put forward legislation and how it works in practice are two separate things. And linked to that, you know, can the Secretary of State clarify, with regards to parity of esteem between physical health and mental health, what proportion of NHS frontline staff dealing with uh, individuals suffering with mental health have had the COVID-19 vaccination, as well as patients suffering from mental health themselves? Uh Thank you very much. Uh, I, I haven't got the exact figure on that last question, not least because it goes up every day, I'm glad to say. But the answer of the, the, the total number of NHS staff who've had the vaccination is now in the hundreds of thousands. I'm also very grateful for the broader point that he made. And if I may say this, Madam Deputy Speaker, there are uh, NHS staff themselves on the front line who have, uh, who have supported people through very traumatic experiences over these past few months, over 2020 in the first peak, and then even more intensively, in some cases, over the past few weeks. And it's even harder this time around because it's happened after a whole year of dealing with this pandemic. And making sure that we support the mental health of those working on the front line in emergency departments, in intensive care units, is incredibly important. We've put extra resources into making sure that people get those services. Often with the NHS, it's about encouraging people to come forward to access those services. Sir Simon Wesley, of course, first came to prominence uh, working with the army on supporting them in dealing with PTSD. And we've got to make sure that we put all the possible support in to make sure frontline NHS staff who've suffered trauma because of what they've seen and what they've had to do in looking after us all in this COVID pandemic, we've got to make sure they're looked after. And I will make, I make a personal commitment today to making sure we do all we can to look after them.